down, a little, down here, a little, a little the other way. The, there, uh, you had me for a minute. Come well, on, you can do this. And now, okay, down here, get it. You can do this. Um, oh, good grief. Um, did you get it right? I know I'm not paying you anything, but could you at least put the effort in? It's Christmas time, okay? We're good? We're good. All right. Hello, everybody. Uh, Sell out my gold digger here uh, with an unboxing video for you because this show ran out of creativity and original ideas before it even started. Um, so I got my knife here uh, for, to open the box with. How else do you open a box? I mean, that's that's first. That was uh, step two on the wiki. How I read on how to open a box. The real question is why? Why do people like unboxing videos? Um, has has society um, so? Uh, not filled with unreal things that the only thing that excites us anymore is just walk, just that watching just human emotion. Is human just basic feeling out as entertainment now? That's pretty sad. Probably the other side. What did I get? Oh, that's a great question. Has a question to you. But, uh... Um, like, you know that, that chair I'm sitting on? It's a great chair, if I do say so myself. Um, it's not my chair. Uh, not at all. Not, not at all my chair. Uh, I'm borrowing that chair because my actual chair is uh, awful and just not very good to look at. So, got a new chair. Do the sittings and the typing and the writing and the do ah, all the quality work that goes into this show. Since you know, only the show of the highest quality like mine would resort to doing an unboxing video around Christmas to farm for views and AdSense. Um, I, I'm a wizard. Alright, um, you're probably going to want to bring the camera around because it's time to take stuff out of the box. No, no, you got to move it. Pick the camera up and move it. <laughs> I do everything myself. Get over here, get, get, get over here. Money shot, hardware inside, chair back, asterisk to accurately represent the YouTube terms and conditions, off-brand hockey stick, off-brand hockey stick, BDSM device, crap, butt pad, key part of any chair. Goodbye. The magic of putting things together. Have directions, mm, that's the smell of asbestos. I can only trust the Chinese for falling furniture. This is absolutely riveting. Dude, have you... Have you seen the views unboxing videos get? Like, have you seen the views? It's, it's insane. I don't know, I don't know how. I don't know why it happens. I made my guesses. Um, it's ridiculous. But you know what? It's what the people want. So I'm gonna give it to them. And, you know, maybe this will have some uh, additional benefits, you know? Like maybe bringing back my, my female audience because it's... I started out with having about a relatively even split. Then just as time's gone on, it's become increasingly and increasingly male. So for the past 28 days, it has been a complete sausage fest around here. And I'm like, okay, how do, how do I appeal to, to the female demographic? What does it take? Because it's so weird, like... You know, I figure it's just a guy sitting around talking to a camera. I figure that's pretty, pretty gender neutral. It's not like this um, pranks gone wrong, gone sexual sort of thing that only appeals to those with the with an IQ of Maybe seven. Maybe you should try an ASMR unboxing while we're here. ASMR. Like just ruffle the packaging, and we'll just zoom in really close on it. But like ASMR, you just sort of rub it, rub it on. I know, let's flip on my beard double because I forgot to shave this morning. You gotta whisper. Be like really okay. weirdly about it. I don't, I don't know how ASMR works. Is this... This is gonna end up on Pornhub, isn't it? This is someone's fetish, isn't it? Whatever. YouTube was a mistake. The wheels to my... Is that really what it's called? It's called the X5M chair? What is this? 1950 okay. science fiction? X5M to the moon! Yeah, it's all pre-packaged. It's idiot-proof now. American lady, not everyone could put together a chair. You had to go out into the forest and grow your own chair from the trees. Shut up, Grandpa. I don't even have hands. I used to. Then I lost them in the war. Step one. Insert. <laughs> Step two. 
think I need a picture for that, but thank you. Pretty escalated quickly. All right. <laughs> that seems a bit excessive, don't you think? Not excessive. Uh, you can cut that with your fingernails. I don't have any fingernails? Okay. The, you, it's designed like like when you're taking yes. medicine, you pop it out. Yeah. But you know, that's not as fun as using a comically oversized knife. You're gonna need the little L thingy. An Allen wrench. Allen wrench. Why an Allen wrench? Because. Maybe you're just like challenged when it comes to these sort of things, you know? Me? Yeah, you. No, the other you. What even is a chair? Now, the real sad fact about this is that you can pay, on top of the cost of the chair, $50 for someone at Amazon to put the chair together <laughs> for you, and then make the post office person uh, carry a fully assembled chair to your door. <laughs> no, that's not how it works, Brandon. Yes, it is. That's like how, I, how, how, it, how it should work. Someone at Amazon has to unfortunately put together a chair No, for no, you. You, you get the chair shipped to your house and somebody from Amazon, they, they find like a chair specialist, I don't know, in your area. And they, they, they send them in, in the mail to your house, so in the box. They send, a, they send you a person. <laughs> Put your chair together for you. Yeah, they just ship them together in the same box. Oh, of course. You know. They send, they send you. A, they send you a worker. Yeah. Oh, that that's amazing. That's yeah, amazing. it is. It's most likely a child, as those are tend. They, they tend to be a they little bit the easier to package. They send you, they send you some. You know, orphans. they 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 tend to be under that weight restriction. They do. So they send you some you know? orphan to put together your chair for you. This is news to me. No wonder they're putting. You, you can even choose where they're from. So you, at the end, you can even uh, choose to adopt the child. You never know. A lot of girls for some reason, you know. Maybe it's because they're a burden to society. That is topical. Yeah, because they just, um, China just uh, issued some interesting uh, facts about their birth, their uh, documented births. They were showing some scientists were looking over the data and was like, they were like, no. There's a lot more adults currently in China than uh, were, than allegedly were born according to the statistics. So they're like, well, it's particularly females. So when they look at the data, hospitals and parents were just not counting their fee their, their girls at birth to avoid um, paying the fines associated because it's the whole one child policy thing yeah. you know? well I know that it also in some countries like in some cultures it's like not as good to have a girl like you want to have the man to like pass on the, the lineage like the lineage things. and the whole like family and thing and all that stuff. Not here though, not in the So United. sometimes like when, like girls when they're born, they're not documented. Mm. So that's why they end up a lot in um, trafficking situations because there's no documents of them if they go missing. Well, it's just got heavy, We just man. went on. It's got heavy, man. You made the wrong turn. Bring it back, that would never happen in the United States. Women have a fair shot at any and all jobs in the United States and uh, we would never, the United States would never lag behind the rest of the free world when it comes to women's rights and women's issues. I feel like we do need to put a disclaimer that Amazon does not ship children in boxes. <laughs> you know what? No, let's leave it out there. You know what? If the internet will believe that CNN broadcasts 30 minutes of a hardcore pornography, then let them take something from this video that says Amazon ships children. Amazon child delivery. You know what? For the people who, who believed and reported on the, the CNN broadcast porn story, and do not realize it was fake. It's fine. Misinformation can spread. Maybe we'll get maybe we'll get more views that way because you know the, tr the fiction spreads faster than truth these days. Because you got front and front. Okay, good. So, you know, that's what that's what the arrow's pointing in that direction to tell you that's the way it's supposed to. Because be otherwise fixed. they won't work. <laughs> otherwise, yeah. I mean, who who would who would mess that up? I mean, especially these days when they're even on trash. I don't cans. know who would mess that up. It's, uh, especially when, like, say, putting a trash can or a recycling bin on the curb, you know, when it's got the arrow right there and you... What no are you trying to say? I'm not trying to say anything. Well, that's not the one that's done by, that's the one that's done by a human being, so, like, they would have the knowledge to know to grab the handle, not... I wasn't naming any names, were so defensive? The recycling bin is the one that is done by the, the, the magical arm on the Remember, thing. Remember, cut away from you. Unless if you hate yourself, then cut towards you. And life tips. Life tips. So many, so many informative things. So, this is such you a, know? We're, good, we're helping so many people. So many people, yeah.
The more um, you know. The more you know. I mean, could just Google stuff to find out, but you know, people are passive and they're just willing to take whatever that's given to. Them. So if you do want to have a good time on a Saturday night and you're very alone, um, you can do what I like to do and watch Fox News. But instead of treating it like noose or like getting it under your skin and rustling your jimmies, um, treat it like a soap opera or like reality TV and it becomes deeply fascinating. Or like um, those fake news sites. Like, 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 the, like the Onion. Like The Onion. Like yeah. The Onion. Take it as a joke. Or like, or like a soap opera or a telenovela if you're from that part of the world. Um, Best drama. It's great. Like if you treat it like a soap opera or like reality TV, it becomes so much more interesting because there's characters, there's alphas, there's there's main characters, minor characters. Um, Stereotypical people too. Lots of like stereotypes. Lots of stereotypes. Um, a, very, a lot of focus on creating uh, interesting plots and narratives that don't necessarily concord with reality. Because you, you, just, you, you see your hands moving off screen. Is this, is this a student film now? It is now. Because I have no idea what I'm doing. I'm just kind of moving it to wherever the action is. Oh, Isn't that yeah. kind of what you're supposed to do? So, uh, yeah, I guess. Um, it was just weird because your hands were just moving off screen. You couldn't see where they were. <laughs> the, the hand turning uh, symbolizes... Um, the movement of time. There we go. Am I turning the screw? Or is the screw turning me? If you want to experience some deep thoughts, you should watch my art project. 40 minutes on a Sunday morning in an American suburban neighborhood. Uh, it is a piece of art that is art because I said it is art. Um, that's all That's all I have to say on that. So much fun. I mean, that's why we're making a video about it. You know? <laughs> he says, well, throwing up inside <laughs> as the sudden realization of how terrible this is hits him. Uh, this is yet, a great idea. But yet he presses on. Fate be damned. Here we see the moon. Um, Should I zoom out and do that again? No, no, it's fine. This is fantastic. It's authentic. What are you, what are you doing? It's, going, it's running away. Start talking. Here we see the noble lizard in its natural habitat. Oh, for, <laughs> oh, oh, for <laughs> fuck's sake. <laughs> Bloody Nora. Shut up. You, you sozzled, mate. Are you sozzled? <laughs> Just point the camera at the blizzard. <laughs> what do you think I'm paying you for? <laughs> such, a, such a twat. Oh, where were we? No, 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 just stop moving. Just stop moving. Okay. Oh my goodness. No, great. Now you've, now you've lost my train of thought. I, now I have to start completely over. It's good grief. Oh my goodness. It's on the light no, it really is a student film. No, no, it's just the top of your head, zoomed in on your eyeballs. Yeah, you see the eyes uh, symbolize um, the window into the soul. This is a great angle. Oh, is it a really unflattering angle of me? Oh, now it's this one right here. Is it really? Is it a really unflattering angle of me? It's, it's just your mouth. So, shoot, what's the what's the song of the Rocky Horror? The Rocky, what, are, what are the Rocky Horror lips? Enough. Is that enough references? Is that enough cinematic references to movies that are far better than anything I will ever make? How was your Thanksgiving break, guys? Mine was surprisingly uneventful. And I was worried that I was gonna have to get in there, uh, try not to be super awkward. Um, but you know, went, went pretty smoothly, all things considered. Political debates, everyone, fortunately, I guess most of the people in my family really just don't give uh, a hoot one way or another regarding politics. So that was us. Considering I had to deal with two Thanksgivings, um, which is one of the small benefits you get when your parents are divorced. I mean, you get to go to two Thanksgivings, but then you have to deal with the weight gain of having to go with two Thanksgivings. Well, I didn't eat two full meals. I had a meal at one and oh, then dessert at the other. Are you fat shaming me? Is that what this is? Maybe. And you were falling inside. It might be over there, so like it's a nice, I don't know, you want to, uh, maybe not, it'll be like staring at your butt. Hell yeah. Oh, no, maybe that's just 
Let's just watch you do this then. While you're half out of frame, this is the perfect angle for this. Wow. I didn't. I found that that was uh, the best way to do it. Oh, this is the best way. This was the best way. This was the best way, wasn't it? It was. You're just doing it like an idiot. That's what sells, Nicole. Stupidity sells. I mean... You just think you just drop it in and it works? You know, maybe, maybe life would be better if more things worked like Tetris. You know what? If post-truth is word of the year... Maybe put a pillow under it. Should, should I give you getting that? Oh god, no, not from low angles. It's not my chins. <laughs> People will see my chins. Can't have that. Oh, god forbid I could have picked it up. You want to hold that for like, before I fit, figure this out for 15 minutes or do you just want to? Well, no, we'll, we'll go, we'll float. We'll float. Come we'll on. just do this. This works. That works. You can see right up your nose. It's perfect. <laughs> Do this. I can do this all by myself. I'm a big boy. I think yes. <laughs> She's more interesting than what you're doing. Just stare at the cat for like the next five minutes while you figure out this. I'm moving along at a reasonable pace. being replaced by a cat in my own show. I'm gonna save this bubble wrap. Oh, you are? You're gonna make her do a do your own ASMR video? No, I'm gonna save it for the ornaments. No! That was, of that course was not! Why would I do that? I did not hit her. I did not hit her. It's bullshit. I did not hit her. I did not. I oh, hi, Mark. Any sort of long-term project is to have a good, healthy relationship with your co-workers. It promotes community and helps create an interesting product for the end for the end user. Oh, now it is a student. Looks like that one shot in you know, Heaven's Gate after Nick Nate shoots the guy. Well, there's something you could do with a plastic wrap, and it's supposed to make like something happen. We're all just plastic bags. Right probably doesn't work because the camera's not that great. Also, thanks for covering up the microphone. Um, okay. Just stop it. Get some help. <laughs> Michael Jordan said so. Also, McDonald's. Yeah. They're the ones that pay them to tell you to stop and get some help. Because, you know, everything's controlled by the military industrial complex. How does it stop it? What? It works! Holy cow, that looks really cool. Now it's infrared. It's like a video game now or something. No, it's you just put a red you just put a red filter over it. Now it's a robot. Now it's the, yeah, now it's the terminator. It's the thing the thing. Can you can you tell this is the last regular episode of the, of the season? Oh by the way, this is the last regular episode of the season. Sorry to drop that bombshell on you. Um uh, now, uh, get get that sweet action in here. How how close? Right here. Oh. And now this is a visual metaphor for what I just did to the audience. 